Hey everyone, I'm going to do a toy haul. I just got back from uh, a toy haul, a toy show. It's like, a, I think it was called the Toronto Toy and Game Show. I didn't look at any of the games really because it's not really something I was ever into. Maybe in the 80s I played a little uh, Super Breakout. No, I didn't even play that. I played Pong. You might know Pong. And... Uh, I was a big fan of the Atari system. It had a few games on it and uh, a simple little joystick. I have my glasses here. Am I going to look like Drew Carey? Uh, hey, hey, Dark Angels. Hey, Ariadna. I did it right. Oh, I'm giving stuff away. Oh, somebody got a sneak peek at some of the stuff that I got. Hey, Newton. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, Danny. Hey, hey, Booby. Thanks for stopping in. So yeah, I saw a lot of, I saw a lot of great toys, and uh, I got a lot of really good things today. I might do my other, I might add on my other toy haul at the end of this because I still have more toys that I have not hauled yet, and I'd like to put those away. As you noticed, I'm not in my bed. I bought some bins, and I took everything. Well, I didn't take everything. I'm still surprised at how much stuff. It's still pretty cluttered in here. But I took a lot of stuff to the basement. I took, well, there were other bins up here already. So I took probably 20 plus bins of toys, huge bins of toys down to the basement. So I have freed up some space. I made a little area where I could sit down and do toy reviews. So I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Hey, Alexandro. Hey, Benedict. Hey, Batsy. Hey, Lorraine, La, 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 Lorraine, maybe that's Lorraine. So, without further ado, I should jump into the toy hall, shouldn't I? Even though you guys are probably saying some stuff. It might be too late to be doing this. Yes, you said my name correctly. Yeah. Um... <laughs> dare done that the shelves are different yeah I turn make sure my toys were showing so it wasn't just like totally warehousey that you can actually see some of the stuff and this is kind of priority to review stuff so I want you people to shout out if you see anything back here that you want me to review I didn't bother putting a shirt on because this is what I was wearing for most of the day and I'm not gonna get dressed for you guys off on a toy hunt of my own today. Awesome. Still keeping an eye out for the Rocker Glam Barbie for you, just in case. I, wanna, I wonder which one that is, though. I have, um, I have, that is one of the toy hauls. You know what else I might do? I might do all kinds of lives here tonight. Uh, you guys, it might be too late or something, but at least I'll get the videos done because I wanted to do all kinds of reviews today and I, or this weekend, and I didn't. And then I'm going to leave my toy haven most of the week, so I won't be back here. But I do have a lot of reviews that I still have to edit in my computer. But I, there was toys that I needed to get reviewed. There's like Minecraft ones that I've been trying to put. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to open up these toys. I'm going to show you what I got today. We'll start with the toy show. I went thinking I wasn't going to find anything, but I found some great stuff. It was quite dead, and I think the prices aren't usually very good on some toys, but I think a lot of people were happy to sell some stuff, so I did get some pretty good deals. Um, and then should I do it in some kind of particular order? I guess I can't really. Oh, first off, I stopped the dollar store on the way there and I picked up these awesome bags, $4 each. The Dollarama strikes again. Love our Dollarama. So it was a good thing that I got these because I got all these toys that I had to bring home. Nice big bags, $4, and they're quite sturdy. So perfect for me to take shopping. I like a bag that you can fold up nice and tight and then you can pop it out and you can fill it large and fill it with toys, even though I should not be buying toys. Okay, let's get on to the toy hunt. I probably should do it in the order that I bought the stuff. Let's see if I can do that. Um, 
guess it would help if I took it out, out of here. Because there are a lot of good stories, and I bartered major. Everything was almost a barter. All right, so here are the first thing, the first stop that I got. There were people at the gate, and... Always happy to get McDonald's Lego because I always say it's one of the best quality McDonald's Happy Meal toys as you can get is when Lego and McDonald's partners up. So I really love these sets because these are quality Happy Meal toys. So I don't know what series this is. Oh, I got one and two. I love that. Hopefully it's the same season, but some crazy little Ronald is even stamped on these Lego sets. So I love that. That's so cool. And then Muppet Babies are huge right now. And I love Muppet Babies. And the plushes that they have now at the, at the Disney store look so good. And I love them and I want to get them. But I'm not going to get them because they're too expensive. But I think I have both of these sets already. I think I have the complete Series 1 and Series 2 of, of these. I think they were... Oh, no. These are McDonald's. I think one might be Burger King. One might be McDonald's. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I love the Muppet Babies so much. And these are so cute. And if they're new and they're sealed in package, I have to get them. I got all of this stuff for $5. He wanted... I think he wanted... A, a three for five dollars and one for one for two dollars each actually i paid i gave him six dollars for that so that's good so i i saved a penny a dollar on that one and then from there i went inside and i found this junk box in the bottom of somebody's bin and this stuff is really dirty, but because, I don't know. Well, I like I just, I pulled out all of this stuff that I saw in here that I really liked. And it was just in this box in the bottom. And it's all stuff that I really like. And he said 15 for everything. The box said something like one, two, and three on it. So one, two, and three dollars. I think he had to decide. And then when I... Put it all up there i was gonna say a price but i didn't really want to do the math or anything and he said 15 dollars, and i said sure and i think i did really well because i got this little people mini bus and it's in really good shape like the stickers on there and everything it's a little dirty there but i'm just gonna clean this up and it looks awesome i love a classic fisher price toy so cute and then a little Fisher Price Lammy. Again, he looks a little dirty, but he's not broken anywhere. And he looks super duper cute. Love those. Love playing with them when I was a baby. And I got a wooden figure, which is great. That's the first variety of these. And her face is in great shape. So that, I think, was an awesome find. And see, when she, when she drives on the bus, she goes up and down and up and down as the wheels turn. And then I got these two dirty little... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These two dirty little cars. And I wouldn't have gotten these cars... But, because they are so dirty and they were written on, but because they already had my name on them, I thought that was so adorable and so cute. They just need a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I have a few of these already. Uh love them i love the little where the gas hose can go into the back part there so cute so named my name's on it and i love i think this series hey hey vanessa hey alexander i already said your name and oh, you guys are saying some i like this channel thank you for liking my channel dark angel <laughs> um I, yeah i can't read uh I think it is this season. I, I guess there was a lot of like beach and surfer and sand. And I have a couple of these already. And he looks like he's in awesome condition. And so I really wanted to pick him up. 
and I did. I always wanted him. I saw a robot today that I didn't get, but I should have gotten. And then I don't know anything about these battle trolls, but considering they were in this bin and they only had $3 written on them and they look like they're in excellent condition and they have like accessories and everything. I have seen these before. I just don't know much about them. They are super 80s. The hair looks like it's in, they look like mint. They look so good. So I think I'm really happy I got those. And I love anything that's, you know, Masters of the Universe scale. I really have to look at my Masters of the Universe stuff to see what I'm missing and what I don't have. Hey, Loran, Lorraine. Wait, I'm saying the same thing. People all over. Hey, Jacob. But, oh yeah, he looks in like an excellent condition. If you know, if you know anything about these trolls and you know if I have everything with him, you let me know. So let me pop him back in. Let's take a look at this guy. Did Was that a good deal for $15, do you think? This is a lot of stuff for $15. Is there, are there bugs or dirt coming out of here? And then there's this guy. What is going on with their chests? I don't know what these guys do. This guy's like baseball-y. I guess, I think, I think he is also in good condition. And, I guess he is. He's got a bat and a glove and a guitar. Like, these are excellent accessories. This arm is really loose, so that's why I'm confused on this one. Maybe it's for his accessory. Catcher's glove. I have him, I'm having a feeling that these are complete. Hey, Sergio, thanks for stopping in. <coughs> I'm going to have to start stop screaming because I'm making my throat sore. Okay, so $15 for all of that. Let's move on. Then, I think what happened next was I went to a table I kept walking by the table who had this and they had ten dollars on this and I kind of wanted it ten dollars is a pretty good price usually they're fifteen dollars regular wholesale like at a store if you're lucky to find them newer ones are twenty uh, this is one that I don't have, and I love this series, and she's kind of rare. But then, I kept walking by and saw that, but then I noticed this in the back, and he had $20 on them. And I think that's kind of obscene, because I have seen him priced at 100 or more, and I don't know why he was so low. I kind of pulled up his shirt and everything, and looked at his joints and nothing seems to be broken or anything like he is missing his rubber arm but that's pretty common i think like am i mixing like yeah i am i mixing it up uh, he he's he's the six million dollar man and he has the roll up arm and everything like i don't know why twenty dollars was on him anyway i said can i take both of these for twenty five dollars and she said sure and I went, okay, I'm down. Like, he even has his shoes. He's definitely going to need a bath and everything. But he's Steve Austin. I, I don't know. I don't know what's broken on him. I don't know if anything's broken on him. But this is a toy that I really want. What I really want is the robot guy where you can take off his different faces. And he was the one of the coolest toys of all time there's no question and also they made the fembots that did the same thing where they had take off their faces and they had robot faces underneath some of the most amazing toys i've ever seen i can't like there are, there's there's like his shirt is ripped a little bit and 
there's like some holes in his knees, but none of that really matters for this classic awesome toy. And oh, let me mention Toy Poloi is an awesome channel here. If you do not subscribe to that, he is amazing and he always um, comes up with these little hacks and fixes and shows you how to fix up your toys and make them brand new and awesome again. So if you do not follow Toy Poloi, definitely check that out. Tell him I sent you. Huge fan of the Poloi. Toy Poloi. And yeah, I'm going to go watch Six Million Dollar Man videos and see how to fix them up. Um, don't complain, Hunky Toy, that you got the Bionic Man for $20. Well, I kind of got him for 15 I don't know. Did I get him? Well, maybe I got her for 5 and him for 20 Is that is that not a good deal? I think it's a good deal. Okay. And then... And then, well, this was closer to the end. This is probably the last thing I bought, but I kept looking back and forth at this, and it was $6. I actually got it for 5 I said, can I take that for 5 Really heavy. I saw this. I mean, I love his outfit. That is like something I would wear. I don't know why it's so heavy. I didn't want to get this only because I don't know how I would ever find these other toys. And I didn't make the correlation, but I was also looking at this Captain Smith and was like, I was looking at this at another place. I got this for $2. Like, I didn't know if there was, if this was a McDonald's toy, but then I went, this is an awesome, an awfully nice McDonald's toy. And it has the right kind of articulation that I like. And he's in such good shape. Reminds me of a adventure people. So... That is why I love him, and he goes with this set. He's he's part of it. So I hope I do find more of these in the future because these are awesome, awesome sets. And then at um, one another another vendor had a few more Star Wars, and he had seven dollars on these. And as you know, I collect, I got a lot of these at my last haul. They're actually right here. And I'm going to open these in giant epic opening because I am going to open up all of these. I have all of these from my last toy show. And I am going to open most of them together. And these are two. I noticed that the ones that I selected from the last time, I had every one from Series 2, or Wave 2, or whatever you call it, except for this Han Solo. And the only reason I didn't get him was because I already had a couple Han Solos. But I really did want to get this one. So this time I did pick it up again. And this is such an awesome looking Luke Skywalker so I had to get that one too. He's cloaked. He looks amazing. So I have a lot of Luke's. And then, well, I may as well do my other Star Wars. I left the toy show, went to Walmart, was looking around, and thought, I really need a Princess Leia. And all of the Leias that I looked at from this series, from this, from the 90s brand... I didn't like any of them, and this one I actually did like, and I already have an R2-D2. Hopefully it's a different R2-D2, and so I went, I went, you know what, I have to go back and pick this up, and I did, and awesome, so now I have a Leia in my series, and oh yeah, and when I was at the table and looking at it, the guy told me $10. But when I went back, he was packing up all of his stuff. He was ready to leave. And this was something else I also looked at at this table. But I noticed it was opened and stapled. But all of the accessories and stuff was there. And it only had $3 on it. But what I said was, can I take both of those for $10? And yes. So I got both of these for 10 bucks. So that was a great deal. I always did want some of these action hero figures. Definitely, at least I get to check one out. He's pretty cool. And for that price, definitely worth checking it out. 
Um, there was a matchbox table, a guy selling all kinds of cars, and he only wanted $3 each for these. Of course, I gave him 5 so I got both of these for $5. What I'm going to do is, they're not 80s ones, they're 90s ones, but I'm going to open up my matchbox someday. I didn't care that they were, the UPC was taken off them, because I just want to open that open them up and compare them to what the matchbox cars look like today. And oh there's an apple. And then the oh the very last thing I've got today was as you might have seen I got Laura in in the last um, vintage show that I went to or the toy show that I went to and I got I forget what his name is but now I have the two classic Jurassic Park figures, which is awesome. This is Sam. Laura and Sam is what I call them. And he was $2. So I'm happy to have the two. I don't know what I did with her, but I'm going to give him a bath and I'm going to be able to play with them. I don't think I really need the accessories and anything. I'm really happy to have these. Again, they remind me so much of Adventure People. So I love that. Hey, Mer Human, thanks for stopping in. Did you decide it or did anybody help you? Um, Jurassic Park. Dr. Grant, thank you. Ben Dare done that. That's a buff Alan from Jurassic Park. Doesn't look, his arms I noticed were really, really thin. He's got really thin forearms. I feel like he's got to do some kind of exercise to work on his tiny little child forearms. <laughs> Thanks, Carl Butler. Okay. Um, oh, I thought I was done. So that was it for the vintage haul. Oh, so the big total was admission to the show is $5.00. So when I looked in at my money, I had, I thought I had, uh, I don't know, I think it was $90. I think I had $10 left. That doesn't make sense. I thought I had $20. Anyway, the grand total was $80 or $90. You could add it up from all of the total, which I don't know. I got a lot of stuff, so it's okay. And the prices were amazing. So then I went to Walmart. I didn't really see anything there. I did see... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, what? What? I did see this guy. He's starting... I saw him at a couple Walmarts recently. Just showing up in Canada now. Luckily, I got him in the States for $2.50, though. But I didn't buy him because I already had them. Even though I might want to get two of him because I don't really like the broad body and I want to put him on a regular swap his head and put him on another one. How much does it cost Dr. Grant? Dr. Grant was two bucks. Two dollars. I couldn't find any cheap ones. And, okay, so at the Superstore I get points and I had a deal today, if you buy toys, you get extra points. So I wanted to go and buy some toys. But I also could use the points that I had already to get free toys. Now, I d mistakenly didn't actually say use my points. So instead I did, I just, you know, mechanically swiped my credit card like I always do. Or tapped my credit card. That's what I do. And, but it's okay because I'll just buy $50 worth of groceries and then I'll just say that these toys were free. They were, they were base they were free because I'm using my points towards them. And so finally my very last baby alive. And this is the last one that I want because I have like all of the boys and I have all 
of the hair colors of the girls that I wanted. So now I have 10 baby alives. So do expect some major baby alive openings. I'm going to actually haul some more baby alives that I got. Two. And then I also... I got this for my friend, Trixie. I already have this. If you want to check out my review of that, I love this series. It is my favorite series. I hope the deluxe series come out. I actually got this for Andreas. Booby, right here. These things... These were on sale, and again, I can use my points for these, so they were free after I get... I don't know if that... It's kind of complicated, but I should have said use my points, but I didn't say use my points. But next time I buy $50 worth of groceries, I'll say use my points, and I'll just say that these toys were free, if you know what I'm saying. And I did always wanted to get these sets. I really wanted to get that white top, even though it's so similar to the blue haired girl's top, but you can't separate that top from her whatever. And I think that these pants will look really good on a hologram. And that is everything that I got at the superstore. So that was like $50 and I got it for free. We'll say that I got it for free. I really kind of did. But since we're here, I am going to show you the other toy haul that I have meant to do. <laughs> and there's a lot more toys, so let's open up all of those too. Oh, let me show you her. I ordered her from Amazon. Speaking of holograms, she is my pizzazz because she's got the yellow greenish hair. Notice that? So she is like the first fashionista to have that. And she does look kind of wicked, so I think she is a perfect match for for her. And this, I already have a body standing by. This is the body that I'm going to use for her. The skin tone looks perfect for her, so expect that video coming up really soon. Excited to finish my Misfits. Um, yeah, and I did a Walmart order, and this is my, this was the first line of Baby Alive that I took notice of, and this is, I think, was the very first line that they took their bracelets off. Unfortunately, they have little underwear on. I don't like that part. I prefer when they can be a naked little baby. But they this was the first time that I noticed them and thought, oh my goodness, Baby Alive is cute now. And they come with little ice creams. I actually prefer that they don't pee. So there's no water or food or anything mucked up involved. There's just like this power punch, Masters of the Universe, um, battle armor ice cream which you can press and <laughs> who doesn't love a battle armor ice cream like come on and then I got both of these I already have the um, darkest complexed with the curly haired girl and uh, she oh yeah I got her for the same price these were half price at Walmart so I scooped them up and I am they wear they have moo moos on as you can see but despite their outfits they're so cute and they're my favorite and like i said i have the 10 that i need i have every kind with every hair color so 10 should be fine for me i shouldn't have to buy any more until i don't know some new ones come out that grab my attention they weren't cute before they weren't that cute before they weren't this cute before. I used to look at them and used to go, ah! but this, super cute, no molded on bracelet again, is a huge, huge win for me because I think it's not really cool if you've got this imprinted thing on your wrist that you can't take off. That's not cool. Children should not have tattoos. Battle armor baby alive. 
I wonder if anybody has made that correlation before. Um, scoop them up, love that pun. Yeah, did, did I say scooped it up? Because that was unintentional, but that's hilarious. Um, okay. This, Luke. We never got these in Canada. I don't know if they were in retail in the United States either. All I know is they're showing up at off-price stores. That's TJ Maxx. Um, is as in Canada. In, in Canada, the TJ Maxx stores are called Walmart or... No, they're not called Walmart. They're called Winners or Marshalls. And they're awesome. Oh yeah, you guys have Marshalls in the States. But this is such an awesome set. I am so happy to get it. I hope that I get to find the two pack with the new guys in them. I don't know what I don't know what their names are. Kylo and that girl. I have to watch those movies again. The new movies. Uh, oh, I got one of these. This is a new toy. This was from Treasure Hunt. This was 60% off, so totally dirt cheap from the store called Dirt Cheap. It's either in some states it's called Dirt Cheap and some stores it's in some states it's called Treasure Hunt. We are lucky in Canada, in my province, we do have a couple locations. So I'm really happy that Dirt Cheap has come to Canada because we get great toys there. And I'm like the only one who knows about it. I also got this there. This is a flash from the past for me. I had these markers in the 80s. Not necessarily these flavors, but I loved them as a kid. They were so fun. So many kids from the 80s had toys like, or markers like these, and you used to smell them and love them, and so awesome. I don't know how to do a review of a smelling toy, but it should be really cool. And okay, at Treasure Hunt, I got some more My Life As. Notice that sometimes they get samples and they cross out all of the information. I don't know what that's about. Um, again, 60% off this price. I do have lots of these mini, well, I have one of them. This one right here I have, I think she's the only cute one. I don't like any of the others. So yeah, I'm happy. To, that's a fun review to do. And then my life stuff actually fits the baby alive very well. So I kind of got this for baby alive, but I do have a my life as boy up here somewhere that I am going to review. So I can use this stuff on the 18 inch doll, but I do, my intention really is to use it with the baby alives. And this is a fun set and at 60% off $4 for this fun activity. I think that'll make a hilarious video. I'll happy to do that. I probably have this fashion set a lot already, but I do, you do what you have to do and I will be sticking him on a regular body because I don't like his little teenage body. So he's going to need this outfit and it's pretty much the same thing. So it's good that I have an extra outfit for that. Um, five of these I found at Treasure Hunt. And I really wanted these when these came out. I just thought that $6 was a little too much. But when I got them for 60% off, I scooped them up. The funny thing is, these are unpunched. All of the stores, Toys R Us, Walmart, they keep punching them. And it really ruins them. It like really scuffs it up. Now, don't get me wrong. They marked it off with a marker and put a big sticker on it. That sticker I can probably take off with a hair dryer, but I don't know, maybe I'll open these. I think these are class. I think these are classic awesomeness. So I love them. Anyway, um, I couldn't find three anywhere. I looked at a Walmart, I looked at a Toys R Us, and I looked at Treasure Hunt. The number three was gone everywhere. 
I went to a hardware store and they had lots of number threes. So I paid full price. I paid $6 for this from Canadian Tire. And why not if I got such a good price on all of the others and I complete my set and they're beautiful, vintage, happy 50th Hot Wheels. What more can I say? They're, they're good looking cars. And the ones at the Canadian Tire were unpunched. So, unpunched. Hey, thanks for that like, and that like, and that like. Thank you, thank you for the likes on this video, guys. Speaking of punches, boom. Yeah, Canadian Tire did not punch their cars either. So, oh, but they did stick a sticker on top. See that? They put a, a hang tag on it. I cut it off because you can't peel. It was such strong adhesive that I couldn't peel off. It's one of those thick plastic hang tags, but whatever. I'm probably gonna open these anyway. I'm probably not gonna open these anyway because when am I gonna find the time? Maybe I should do some hellos. Did my glasses fall on the floor with all of those toys? I should have made somebody a moderator. I don't know where my glasses went. I guess, I guess I can't read. There's too many things going around. Another like here. Oh, thanks for that like. Thank you. That Ken should be Jem's boyfriend. What? It's a good thing I read that comment. Rio. Now I lost him. Oh. This is crazy. What did I do with him? There he is. He'd totally make a good Rio. Thank you. That is a good idea. I wonder who's going to be Eric. There actually is a guy. There is a, a guy who has kind of a lighter skin. I think he might be more... I think he's supposed to be Asian, but I think he'll make a good Eric. But... That is definitely a good Rio. You are right. Thank you. Wait, who said that? I don't know who said that. You can, you can, somebody, you can give that person credit for me. Okay, what else do I got in here? Uh, oh, here's something I got from Treasure Hunt. I thought this was, um, the father. I thought this was McFly, but it was actually Biff, which is okay. It's the only one they had there. I love reaction figures, so anytime that I find reaction figures like around $5, I'm going to pick them up because, once again, they remind me of adventure people. I'm dropped on all my stuff. Okay, I don't know if I showed this before. I wanted to... This was opened in the store, so I was kind of happy because I looked inside and I saw that it was one that I didn't have, and it is Applejack. So I am so happy to get her. These loyal subjects blind bags are awesome. This was from, again, the TJ Maxx company store. And, yeah... Love these, so heavy. Love everything Loyal Subjects makes. I hate that they're blind. That really is not cool because you never know what you're getting and you can spend a fortune on the stuff. And the cards are always bent up, but awesome to get. A third, three is a nice number to get. I don't really have to get any more. This set, I think I paid regular price for this at Walmart, but that's okay because I thought there was some definitely some good hologram misfit pieces in here. So I got to get working on that. Whoa, the light, the lights are going down, sun setting on me. But yeah, I've got to get my holograms and misfits together. I think it's going to happen pretty soon. I have to assess who I need. I'm not really decided on a Kimber yet. There's not really a bright red-headed fashionista. Classic ponies are the best. 
Okay, what's been dark done that nice pink with white taut? <laughs> Wait, is it your, oh, your name is Benedict's Ben Dare done that. <laughs> I think I kept reading that. <laughs> I love unicorns, but no ponies. You don't like, uni you don't like unicorn ponies? Okay. Moving on, two Hot Wheels, this one, oh, this was one that I also wanted to buy, but I didn't want to pay the $6 for it, but it was at, whoa, I got to close my blind or something, it was at Treasure Hunt, and so it was 60% off, so I did get to get that van, which I love, and then this is a beauty, so I had to pick that one up, I love that car, oh, oh. And then, when I bought my Baby Alives, Walmart was having an awesome sale. And for this series, I got all of the classic Star Wars figures. So I kind of focused on, you know, from the, the first three... <laughs> The first three, last three movies, you know, the classics. It's so hard to explain them. Episodes four, five, and six. But when they're one dollar each, they're kind of awesome figures. And because I have collected so many of them, I had to jump on that. There's one more of these at Treasure Hunt that I like that I'm going to pick up. And at Treasure Hunt, they're four dollars. But considering these were only a buck, I got one of each of those. And one of each of those. So pretty sweet to add to my new Star Wars collection. And these ones were priced at $2 in Walmart in Canada. So, I don't like these as much. I don't like the articulation because, again, it all goes back to adventure people. I better close that blind. This, they have too much articulation, and I don't like them when they have too much articulation. The Admiral is one of my favorite Star Wars figures, Star Wars characters. I just love the way he looks, and... I don't know why. Always a favorite. Do you know who else is a hammerhead? Is also a favorite of mine. I gotta fix that. We can't. We can't go on. We can't go on like this. Here, look at this poke. Look at this Pocahontas set while I go fix that. Are you still are you still there hey have you liked this video yet give it a like thanks for that like thanks for that like look at his outfit look at my outfit thanks for that like thanks for that like I love your likes guys and then there was this set I think this was five dollars I believe it wasn't more than five dollars it could have been three it's probably five so he's just a really cool looking figure again and you get this crazy monster with it treasure hunt treasure hunt had the one with darth vader in it and i didn't get it i didn't realize that it was the only link what they call it forest link ones and i opened it up and looked to look inside to see if the robot included was all there and it was but it was really small and it was 50% off on that day, and I put it down, and I thought, huh, oh, I won't get it. And then I went back, I, and then I second-guessed myself, I went back, and it was gone. So I'm going to just keep looking at Treasure Hunt, and they tend to get the same things in. So hopefully I do find that Darth Vader, or maybe I'll just get one of the classic Darth Vaders 
from um, the previous series. But I think I probably like the D-Link, the Force Link ones because they'll be fun and I have a Force Link device. A lot of stuff from Treasure Hunt. Treasure Hunt has such good prices. 60% off this Lost Kitties. These are very popular right now. So I want to I want to try out a Lost Kitty. Um, another Barbie fashion. Oh, this was at an off-price store. $4. I don't know. This is something that Jerrica Benton could definitely wear. And then here we go. The last thing I got was at the Dollarama. And... These came out a lot. I actually opened up a few of these Ban Bow sets, and they're really good quality. They used to be priced at $3, like when I bought this one originally. And I opened a Dolphin one, and this one originally. But now they are $2. Some of these I already had. So these ones with the prices on them, I already had. I was just putting them together. But... Oh yeah, and this Jeep here. But I thought I would complete... Wait, that one I had before too. There. Now, I would take all of the other ones, so I got all 12 of these like mini sets. So those. And there's some of these like, I don't know, party, girl party ones. And then there's construction sets and yards. And... Oh, these two go together. Um, a police car and a police trailer. And then we got this fire one to go with this fire trailer. Oh, that was Applejack. Oh, thank you for that like. Thank you. So, oh, my throat. I shouldn't be screaming so much. So that was... A pretty epic adventure. I know that. I said that I wasn't buying any more toys. These were all great deals. This was over a span of time. Uh, the last haul I did was probably for the March of May. So this one was kind of for the m month of June and July. And because it is July right now. Hopefully... I won't buy very much. I do have some stuff at my other house. So there is a little mini haul in there somewhere that I could do. Maybe I'll take some of that stuff back. I'm trying to cut back. Believe it or not, I have cut back. But today I, I found some good stuff. I don't know. What, what do you think? Did I overdo my, you know, toy buying or didn't I? The the Bergen, bruh, that's what I'm reading, thinks it was an epic haul. So that's good. Let me see if I can find my glasses. Let's turn this into, even though my hands feel dirty from touching the dirty old toys, let's turn this into a mukbang because I had an apple in my bag. An ASMR mukbang. Baby steps. That's what I say. And most of the stuff is stuff that I really, really wanted. I wanted to complete my Baby Alive collection. <laughs> I really wanted these classic Hot Wheels. My focus really now, which I found, is on classic toys. Or reproductions of classic toys or toys that remind me of classic toys it all goes back to adventure people thank you for that like Sergio thank you for that like Vanessa the Panizis are in here <laughs> I always mess up their name Brian and Veronica Panizzi. Maybe it is Panizzi. 
It was written phonetically for me the last time. Granny Smiths are the best. I'm trying to lower my sugar intake. So they have a lower sugar. I shouldn't eat as much sugar as I do. Thank you, Joel Ma. <laughs> I really wish I had my glasses so I could read. Did you guys see what I did with my glasses? Oh, they're right here. They're buried under toys, of course. They're buried under piles of toys. Jolma. Marine Marina. Look, I still I can't I still can't read with my glasses. Huh? Panizis. The Panizis are awesome, guys. Everyone say hello to the Panizis. Veronica's also Brazilian. Hello, Brazil. I love my Brazilian viewers. <laughs> if you're Brazilian, do you watch Peter Toys? He's a good guy. He's really funny. Mm. The the bargain bruh. That, that, that's a great name. A low a low GI gluten index? Yeah. I don't eat I don't eat bread. Yay, Brazil. One of the problems that I do, I was going to talk about this. Just like I can't stop a good toy bargain, I can't stop a good um, food bargain, too. And today, they had this crazy... They were made with cane sugar. <laughs> so they were, like, they were in, like, the health food section. So... A better sugar, a more unrefined sugar. So kind of like the sugar just from a piece of produce. And it was 31 or 34 cents. I think it was 34 cents each for a big bag of chocolate covered pretzels. And they had three flavors. So I bought them and ate them. So luckily that was the only thing I ate today. And that's the only thing I'm going to eat today besides these apples. But that was bad of me. But such a good deal. 34 cents? What? Like, it's probably like a $5 giant bag of pretzels. Of course, I ate three of the bags. I did restrain myself to only buying one of each flavor. The completest in me had to get one of everything. But yeah, if there's like free food or something... Like, I'm not a big sample person. I don't go to the sample table and everything because I don't like to beg. But if there's, like, a buffet spread out, I'll be I'll be eating at that thing. I don't like to ask for free stuff. That's embarrassing for me. But if it's just, like, open and available to me, I'm going to take advantage of that. I can't stop it. Kind of like my points things. It's the same way. So with my President's Choice, my PC Optimum Points, which I got made $5 off of this guy, I bought him, and then I have $5 worth of free groceries or toys, because I had a special toy offer, buy so many toys and get points. And he was expensive, but not really expensive because I'm putting my points towards the purchase of him. Last one, so good. Got all of the scoops, girls. Oh, we got a super flex. Oh, wait, I look really thin. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
thank you. Don't send me money, though. That's horrible. You should come to... I have to read this message completely because somebody took the effort of putting in some cash. It was Mippy Nippy. And you should come to Everett, Washington. We have apples, all organic farmers markets, and tons of trails for biking and the Funko headquarters. We would have so much fun. Oh my Funko headquarters. Could I get all of the new could I get the Mortal Kombat variants? I really wish I had those. That's my favorite. All of those savage warriors, I think is what they're calling them. I want to get everything they make in Savage Warrior Masters of the Universe style. I love those. Thank you very much, Mippy Nippy, for your awesome uh, triple facts. Mm, 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 mm. Your super flex. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you, Sergio, for being so welcoming. You wouldn't have so much fun. You'll have so much Funko. <laughs> Funko. Oh, that Benedict and his puns. Do you collect Hatchimals at all? I have... I was supposed to buy one. I must have put it back. I do have some blind bag mini figure Hatchimals. I actually opened them in my last blind bag haul. I don't know if I have more of them, but the blind, the little mini ones, sometimes I will collect those. Jason, I have my eyes in those monster highs behind you. Yeah, there's some good ones there. I want you guys to take note of those. I have, if you see one on the front, I have the whole series. And please make your requests in the comments of my videos, letting me know which ones of those that you want me to open, because I really should open them. I pretty much have all of the classic series too, so there's something that, excuse me, that apple is making me burp. Hey, thank you for that like. Oh, and thank you for that like. Hey, Megan. Hey, Kay. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, and oh, do you notice, do you notice I have to, I'm still working on this new setup. This sitting down feels good on my back, so I like that. I like that it's all ready for me to sit down anytime I want to record a video. I don't have to, like, make my bed, clear everything off, like, make sure that everything's tidy. If I have this space ready, I can just sit down and pump reviews out. I can do lives on the spot more quickly, so that's good. This is a video that I really wanted to do. Oh, this was what I wanted to do on the weekend. I got these half price. This is part of the haul at Toys R Us. As you can see. And, well, you can't see that I got it on sale, but it's the new series. I got this one. I thought it was the cutest one. This will be so fun to open. I probably should start a new video if I'm going to open up that. There's so many videos that I want to do and so many I want to make. Do you collect chubby puppies? I have one chubby puppy. Wait, they're the ones in the blind bags, the two. They look like Fun Dip, right? I don't... I would, because I think those are so cute. But I don't think I have ever gotten any of those. But they are Fun Dip, right? Because you op you pull them along the top, and there's like uh, one, like two in each package. And there's like, you know, a, a, lick, a lick a stick. There's no lick a stick. But they're divided. Those are adorable. No, I have not found them. I'm not sure we have them in Canada. 
Hey Jason. Hey Vinyl Beauty. My Vinyl Beauty. Do you love records? Is that what that's about? Have you seen the Shopkins cars? I certainly, of course I've seen the Shopkins cars. I kind of should, I should look for the limited edition one, but I can't say that I have. I have thought about buying some, but I, I have not bought any because I can't collect everything. I mean, I already collect everything. Uh, Halo, hey Crypto Clan, hey Carrie Butler. I don't know if I said I am watching for Shopkins Mini Mart to come out. There is a Shopkins Mini Mart. Oh, I have it over there. I'm gonna go get it for you. Is it a Shopkins for the Shoppies? Check this out. I love to play with this, with my shoppies. It's the perfect size. It is also made by Moose Toys. The little minis are the perfect size for it. They can go shopping here. They can get all grossed out. Ooh, it's gross. They can date the grocery gang. It's so much fun. I probably should have done this video as a, um, as a pre-recorded and put in the pictures of the other things that I found, maybe I'll put them on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's just too hunky. Uh, you can see some of my collections. Um, Vanessa, thank you for that like. <clears throat> Set looks better. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, it's a, it's a work in progress. I definitely have more room around here now. This is so fun. And I actually bought this because I thought it would be a great backdrop for Instagram pictures. And it's a nice little place where, you know, the grocery gang or the shoppies can shop. I am a huge fan of these ones. And I have, well, up until the new recent ones, I'm always a step behind. I have every single one in this shaped box. So I definitely have the full collection of these and I'm so happy that I do, but now I don't because there are new ones again. Yeah, you miss it vinyl. Damn. I don't know. I never know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh, um, Benedict, your new name is too long. It just confuses me. Oh, good scaling. Ooh, dating the grocer gang. No, gr dating the grocer gang is so gross. It's awesome. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe I should come back with opening some shoppies. I do have some shoppies that I want to open. So that could be a video. Um, I want to open some Toy Story. And I want to open up some Minecraft. So do any of those videos? Should I start a new live opening up any of those things? I don't even know if I'm capable of doing that because of my voice. I also want to do a head swap on her. Wait, that's really important that I get this head swap done. So maybe I better do that video. Now, something about the head swaps on those is Luke's brother. Where did Luke's brother go? Luke has a lot of brothers. Um, yeah, but I built them, but they're from Ikea. They were so much better in my last place because I customized them to go all the way to my 12-foot ceilings. So they went way up the wall and it was it was an epic monster high display but here I haven't customized them to the ceiling <sighs> just because there tends to be a lot of spiders around here so I want to be able to clean them easier and if I put them to the ceiling I don't think I can get in behind as easy and stuff so 
I don't know if I will. And it's a lot of work. And I don't know how long it will be here. And But now that I have the new placement, you can't see that they don't go to the ceiling. So I don't have to put them to the ceiling anyway. So scratch all of that. But it would look more aesthetically pleasing to me. They look more built in when you put them all the way to the ceiling. But I don't think I will. I am going to do a tour of the room and show you. You can look at my last... Uh, a room tour I did a room tour so you can take a look at what the room looked like before and then I'll do another room tour after I kind of fix it up the problem is I still have I had a wall of boxes before like a huge thick wall of boxes like double stacks of boxes going down the center of my room it's kind of gone. I have four huge boxes that are still there that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I get, yeah, I guess I could get more bins. There are the giant play sets. I have the giant play sets up here. Here, I'll show you. So that is where I keep all of my giant play sets. Mostly Imaginext. But that is where all the big stuff goes that can't really fit in boxes. And then I have the milk crates full of toys too. Oh yeah. And it goes all the way down there. It doesn't look as long as it is. And then on the other side is Ever After High. But I'll show you that another day because I'm not spinning this around. Line this up. Go. Nice. I don't like spi I don't like spiders either, but I'm doing well. Oh, last year these babies they were going all over the place, and I was like freaking out. And um, this year, just it was last week, there were more little babies. But it because I had these lights on, and then I went away for a week, so. I think it, that was really good because I think they all went to the windows because there were no lights on and I vacuumed up as many as I possibly could and the, I've been cleaning a lot of stuff and I have my diatomaceous earth trick I like to dust with diatomaceous earth to that's a whole other I should do a complete video on the amazingness of diatomaceous earth diatomaceous earth it is a natural bug destroyer do not like bugs. I would fill my walls with this miraculous fossilized coral. It cuts up the bugs. Cut, cut, cut. Um, I love the room tours. Okay, more room tours coming up. Brian and Veronica. They do look very neat and organized. Mine are pretty much everywhere every color every size yeah it's hard it's hard believe me i kind of threw a lot of stuff in the bins there will there i think my plan is that there will be a lot of videos that are here is this collection here is this collection here's my strawberry shortcake collection here's my there'll be a lot of imagine x collections because i have pirates and i have space and i have city and i have tons of collections and i have teen titans go and i have spongebob and i have power rangers and i have jake and the neverland pirates and i have castle and i have ninja Samurais, and I have Disney, and I have, well, Disney Junior, and I have a lot of, um, <laughs> what's that guy's name? Mike, Mike, Mike the Knight? Nobody likes Mike the, nobody likes my Mike the Knight videos. I don't think he's on anymore. So, my plan is kind of to mix toys together, too. Maybe when I do a Mike the, I actually have a pool Mike the Knight review coming up. Mike the Knight in the pool. Maybe in the pool will, you know, spark some interest in my Mike the Knight toys. It's hard to review all these toys that only I like. Did you notice that so many toy tubers have gone to, you know, they make Roblox videos now. I don't play video games. I don't really want to do, like, 
I don't want to I don't want to make up little skits and stuff. Sometimes I do. I don't want to do a whole video of that. I don't want to talk down to children. I don't really want to. I am silly. I don't want to be too silly. So and I really enjoy looking at toys and examining them. So that is kind of what I'm gonna do. You're gonna get the vlogs. You're gonna get me examining toys and just appreciating them and looking at them. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be anything or do anything different. I don't write back to all the toy companies that want to send me toys because I don't have time to do it and most of the toys that are popular today are gimmick toys and don't really I'm not really interested in gimmick toys. I don't have time to do them. They're kind of like a one trick pony. Of course, when they when I am sent these toys, I will tell you all of the positive things about it. I love toys. I understand that I will I love every toy and I understand that every kid, every grown-up is going to love a toy. So I am going to tell you the good things about the toy. I don't like to be a negative person, so I try not to be. I mean, if the toy breaks, I'll probably mention that it's falling apart, but I think there's a place for every toy and anything that makes people happy, and I know that the kids today are interested in different toys, like video games, virtual toys, which is kind of a good thing because they're not getting all of this plastic, and it is better that we do, you know, occupy our time online and uh, that is a much better way to play it's um, better for the resources of the world I do feel guilty I am an environmentalist yet I do you know contribute to collecting all of this plastic so I do feel guilty about that sometimes but for me it's art and I just really appreciate it and it fills me with so much joy and I can just look at them for hours and examine them and how they're made and that is why I'm here and that is what I do what I do I just I love all toys they excite me some I like more than others I like hunky chunky toys the most look at this guy I don't even know I never watched the Ninja Turtles I just know that he's really colorful really hunky really chunky i had to have him and i saved him from a landfill because he was second hand i don't know what that tangent spiel was about but that's how it stands i love mike the knight yeah mike the knight do it right set it right i have a lot in that collection no for roblox I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start a Roblox channel. I did open my first Roblox. I don't not like them. I really like Minecraft toys. Love Minecraft toys so much. They're a lot of fun to play with. One trick pony, the next line out of the <laughs> little ponies. Uh that pony that fell on the floor is more than a one-trick pony because you can just your imagination is what makes you have fun with it i love an action figure that doesn't have a gimmick it only needs five points of articulation even though he's got ball jointed shoulders he's so yeah that's that is what i like to play with just perfectly cute colorful simple that is my that's my kind of toy that's why i love imagine x and Imagine Next is small, so you can get a lot of little figures, and uh, you can collect a lot, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So that is another reason why I'm a huge Imagine Next fan. And I'm not, I'm not going to badmouth Roblox because, like I said, <laughs> there's lots of good things about Roblox, and people have lots of fun. And I love a Cookie Swirl C video. Don't get me wrong; she doesn't play video games either, though. But she does a lot of role playing. And she's hilarious and cute, just not something that I I don't want to really do. I don't know. I, I feel like I could be silly, but it wouldn't be that much fun for me. I don't want to talk down. And then there's Disney Car Toys. Huge fan of them. They make things a little... Their content, I find, is a little more risque and adult. Um, kind of, you can catch things on a different level. Kind of like when I was watching Sesame Street in the 70s and 80s. There's different levels of entertainment that you can pick up on different things. 
And I love... They're really funny. The Disney car toys guys. Hilarious. San Sandra Rue. The Minecraft toys are so good. All those fun game style weapons and extras. They are be they are booby. I don't even know Roblox really. Well, how can you not know? If you want to make it custom eyes gem and the holograms dolls with red hair, get a curvy made to move Barbie doll dancer one. Yes, Vanessa. That is what I wanted to do here. I want to do a shout out. Please, somebody. There are so many people ripping off her head because they do not like her head and they want to put other heads on it. Send me your curvy ghetto dancing made to move Barbie heads. I forgot. I really thank you, Vanessa, for reminding me that is the Kimber head. That is the one that I want. Somebody send that to me. Send me your discarded Barbie made to move hip hop dancing curvy head. I don't want her body. I don't like her body. I like these bodies. I need that redhead. She is my Kimber. Thank you, Vanessa. Here I am. I'm asking. I'm asking for stuff from you guys. Rip off the head off of your doll and give it to me. I know people are ripping the heads off. They're just throwing them out. Did you hear that Mattel is coming out with Harry Potter dolls? Um, those Harry Potter dolls have already hit the store. Check out Booby's Instagram. He has pictures of them on the... I think they're in Europe. I am definitely going to get them. You know what? When I was organizing, let me see if I can pull that up. Oh, I can't get to it, but I actually bought, I haven't, I haven't seen Harry Potter, never seen any of the movies. I think I started to see the first one. I have a super deluxe special edition DVD that I found at some store it was brand new and packaged. They had like hundreds of them and they were for a, bu a buck each. They were either a dollar or five dollars each. I think they were a dollar. I think it was a crazy good deal. So I bought it. So I have this unopened, amazing Harry Potter special deluxe DVD set. The first. So I'm going to watch it. One day I'm going to watch it. And people seem to like it. So I want to get up on that. I love watching cookies roblox videos does cookie do like roblox videos like with the toys or does she do them does she play the game did you hear that mattel oh <laughs> i already did that one tell me to clean my room please go clean your room danny you can at least listen to this while you're cleaning it do you like blind box toys i love blind box toys i have two well i have a giant bin but because i wanted to put my bins in the basement i filled up two big cardboard boxes full of them i am going to do more blind blind box openings i'm going to do more live blind box openings right here so stay tuned to look out for those because i am going to do a lot of those because i've got a lot of blind bags to open they're not ones that you're going to like very much well Sometimes I get new ones from Treasure Hunt. But, yeah, I don't, I don't spend a, a lot on blind bags because, you know, you never know what you're going to get and you might get doubles and stuff. So, not something that I like to invest in, but definitely fun to open. And I know that people like to watch those videos. Um, da, da, oh, your name, Benedict, is too long. It's confusing me. You want to get heads in the mail yes i do just dolly heads yes i got them i don't know what booby says he's got have you have to watch them castle and dungeons oh my i missed that conversation you're welcome anytime but unfortunately i do not have the curvy made to move barbie doll because she is not in the uk well i hope she shows up there soon she Actually, she I found her in Canada for quite a long time. 
she probably showed that's one of the dolls that actually showed up at the when she first came out i think can me finding her was at the same time that people were finding her in the states so one of the rare occasions where canada got stuff first but sometimes canada does get stuff first because we have a def we have a giant mattel um distribution center here and we are the port cities. Vancouver is a port city and Halifax is a port city. I think most of this stuff comes in in Vancouver, though. Hi, am I late? My notifications don't work. Um, Nico Boys, thanks for joining us. Uh, you are kind of late because we've been here for an hour and 20 minutes. You're going to have to go back and watch this video later. She has her own Roblox game. Oh, cookie oh i know that she was reluctant to do it and i i remember hearing her say something about her not really like it was hard for her to do it or she wasn't really getting into it but i guess maybe she has her own channel now she she knows she knows where to go she knows where the she knows where the kids are what the kids are interested in life is like a box of blind bags you never know what you're gonna get yeah and sometimes it's just doubles 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 you're just getting cherry cream cherry cream cherry cream cherry cream usually at least you know with a box of chocolates you're gonna get oh well, you know what you get you're gonna get those caramels just those hard caramels under the chocolate and then oh that's another hard caramel under the chocolate oh and another hard caramel under the chocolate. Those are my least favorite. I mean, if that was all I had, that would be fine. But if I know that there's some creams in there, I'm going to be disappointed at the hard caramels. I have a box of Monster High opened probably like 20 pieces. I wish to give away to you, but shipping could be extreme. Oh, you don't need to send me any please please don't send me any toys i have way too many toys i only wanted that head so and then i have to get rid of and then i need because i don't want her body you see so that's why i don't want to buy her because i'm going to have this curvy made to move body which i don't like i like these wwe superstar bodies they're the only dolly body that i like don't send me toys, guys. Please don't send me toys. Enjoy that made us. Enjoy toys that made us. The toys that made us is the best show ever. I laugh. I cry. Love that show. I watch it on repeat over and over again. Oh, that's the thing. I saw two vintage Kens. They were $50 each. They were having a draw. There was actually, there was a sorceress action figure, one that I'm missing from Masters of the Universe. They had $120 on her. That's crazy. I was going to, hoping I was going to win this $100 prize draw where you could buy anything at the toy show. But I didn't win it. <laughs> and so I didn't buy it. But I second guessed myself and I said, I'm going to buy those two. Oh, thank you for that like. And thank you for that like. Thank you for these likes, guys. I love your likes. They had two original Kens for $50 each, and I would have bought both of them. They had a blonde and a brunette. And considering those are like a holy grail toy, they're what G.I. Joe was based on, they're what Ken was based on, and they just look 50s retro classic awesome, so... Def definitely would have bought those and then the sorceress had some scuffs on her neck and stuff and yeah she's not made as well she's not made as well as some of the other Master of the Universe figures because she has her own mold and she's kind of like a hollow body plastic thing with a gimmick thank you Vanessa thank you Vanessa I want the curvy made to move but dolls are too expensive here Sorry about that. I don't like the curve you made to move. Like, here, here I'm going to say some. I always say good things about toys. I, ju I don't like, I don't like the proportions. I think 
The feet, again, the feet are way too small on Barbie. It works for a 1950s Barbie. I think she looks great with her tiny little feet in her little black and white striped bikini on and, well, bathing suit and her, like, crazy funny makeup. But... I, I think we I think Barbie needs a new foot there's like and I was I was actually thinking about this because I was looking at all these retro Barbies today and the old clothes the new clothes well the old Barbie clothes don't fit on the new dolls because her waist was tiny 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 they're making them a lot thicker in the waist now so you can't use the vintage clothes so why not i thought the only reason that they're not changing barbie's feet is because nobody's shoes will fit and everybody will be upset but this just looks so like aesthetically pleasing to me like this foot looks so good barbie's feet look ridiculous i don't even have any around to show you because i like to keep them out of my sight out of mind because I just get angry at how ridiculous they look again if it's a vintage Barbie I think it looks great it just fits the style she's got the vintage face on and she looks all porcelain and like that era then it's fine but no I think she needs a foot up to oh I do have I do have one here oh it's ridiculous even even with even with those big boots on her feet still look tiny unacceptable and when she's uh, jordan thank you for that like thank you thank you thank you love your legs guys oh yeah she looks like an ice cream cone her feet should not be that small they go to a, a little tip at the end and i don't like you know what I do like the made to moves. I take it back with all of their clothes off. They look like fembots. They look like robots. So they actually look kind of cool. So maybe I can get some robot heads and then I can play with them with the new Steve Austin. What does this button on the back do? I can, you can look through his head. See if you can see if you can see me through his head. Look, there I am. There's my head. There's my head. Yeah, fembots are so cool. So, yeah, maybe I will start... Maybe I'll make a little fembot collection. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Maybe his arm is supposed to move. I think I need to get a balloon to make a sleeve for him. To show off his robot. I don't have his little plate in here. But he's in pretty good shape. I'm really happy about him. I'm going to undress him and take and examine him even more because I really didn't do that. I was just so happy to find him at that price. I really love your vibes. They're so positive and the energy is amazing. Well, thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Hey, Speech Fairies. Great to see you. Did you ever collect the Project MC2 dolls? You know what? I had an opportunity once at a Walmart and they had probably the whole first wave for $5, but I had they had so many toys and dolls for $5 and I passed on them and they're kind of nice and I'm kind of regretting it, but I can't collect everything and they are MGA and for any of those you know, doll collectors that are upset of the direction that Monster High has gone in. It's definitely a good alternative. And I like that it's Science and Girls. I am a fan. I think it's... I think they look good. I'm too late to the table. Maybe if I find, like, a whole wave, which I saw at an off-price store, and I almost bought them, and then I didn't, and then they were gone. But maybe if I do find them over Christmas, because... A lot of toys come to the off-price stores. I might buy a whole series of them. Because they do look good. I can't say anything bad about them. I thought their eyes might be a little creepy. But their eyes are a good thing. That they're actual glass eyes. 
Well, not actual glass, but, you know, clear eyes. Well, how was he 20? How was he marked $20 when I've seen them? Oh, he even has this. He's got his robot joint there. Is that why? Because he's got some kind of gross thing on his arm. Can I peel that off? Yeah. Well, that's kind of gross that that can be peeled off. Oh. Oh, it's the rubber. It was the rubber from the arm. That's fine. I can totally peel that off. It's just residue. So, so it's not as gross as I thought it was. It's the actual roll down your balloon. And like I said, on the Toy Poloi channel, he tells you exactly how to fix this. Oh, he's got his robot circuit. I, too bad I'm missing this one. But he's pretty sweet. None of the joints are broken. I thought he might even be broken and hidden inside, but he's in excellent condition. Oh, is this what the button is supposed to fix? Oh, no, his arm is moving. It totally works. Look, it's not even broken. And then I don't know what happens after that. Are you allowed to move his arm or does it just rotate around like that? He is so strong, but oh, it's slow motion. Oh, wait, that's Jason Voorhees. This is awesome. Oh, some of the best toys ever. Like I said earlier, there is a robot and you can change his faces and he can turn into Oscar Goldman and he can turn into Steve Austin and the plates and then he's got this robot. I don't know. He's got all of these like special things to take off his arm, put on other arms. Really epic toy. But so good to find this awesome classic toy. Good outfit too. I would totally wear this outfit. This needs to be washed. And the sh one of the shoes are split. But I can't believe that he even has these shoes. And I bet you Toy Ploy has some good ideas on how to fix that. That was a good find. And you can get replacement clothes too, so that's good. These are worn out in places, but I'm gonna I'm gonna soak these into a tub of soapy water and give them a little wash. And they're actually not that bad. And then you can download pics of the iron on that's missing and you can reapply it. But I think I'd probably get a new outfit or I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. He looks, he looks really good on his own. I might paint his hair. That's the only, like, real scuff. I could give him a little touch-up right there. And he looks really good. And all of his features work. Like, and then I said, you can, like, buy a balloon, and you can put it on here, and it actually works just the same way as the original did. Yes, Jason Voorhees for the win. Hey, thank you for those likes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since people are just joining us, let me show you more of my dirty toys. We'll go back and review some of the stuff that we got. So I got this classic minibus. It's in great shape. It's just really dirty on the top there. So I gotta get in there and clean it, but it's awesome. I love that it has the little wooden panel that moves up and down. And here's an original little wooden figure. I have a few of those. I love that. I got a little sheep. He looks a little discolored, but his paint is still good. And he's not broken in any place. He's cute. And I love that Muppet Babies are returning. I am so excited for new Muppet Baby toys. Muppet Babies are probably some of the cute... They're probably the cutest property of all time. And if you've been to the Disney store, the new plushes are adorable. In Canada, they're like $20 each. It would cost over $100 to get the whole collection. 
they are missing like Ralph and they're missing the twins, which I'm kind of upset about, but I think that they may return. I did see that they're in a picture on the cartoon. But Muppet Babies, adorable. So that was a great find. And the two best McDonald's Happy Meal toys you can get are Madame Alexander dolls, because they're fully articulated little figures with arm joints and hips, and they're like really deluxe. Such a good value for a Happy Meal. And then official Lego bricks, which Matchbox used to be great, but now they give you a plastic toy. But, and they don't do Lego anymore, as far as I know. Oh, sometimes they do ones, but they're just Lego properties. They're not actual Lego bricks. But I have never seen ones that actually have McDonald's figures stamped on them. Maybe it's a sticker. Oh, it might be a sticker. But anyway, official Lego at McDonald's. That is a quality toy for a Happy Meal. Can't go wrong with that. And this was, this was another highlight. Does anybody remember these markers? The shape and everything is the same as the ones from the 80s. I used to have these and smell them all the time and thought that they were wonderful. Not an ice cream. Not an ice cream flavor, but still great. Hey, Vanessa, thank you for those likes. Thank you. Thank you for all those likes, guys. Your likes apparently really help out my videos because that's what everybody says. And that's what I always say because that's what other people say. Does anybody else want to see anything? You know what? Oh, did I tell you this? I started to tell this story and I didn't. And this is the video that I think I really want to make. I took off... Wait, do I have her head in here? This new... WWE. Oh, I guess I put her head away. I forget what her name is. She was a new one. I wanted to put the light. She's the lightest skinned WWE girl so far. When I took off her head, it broke. But because they're really there. And I see that this one is also cracked in the neck too. So I think the peg is going to break off on this one too. But because of the way that they're made, it didn't really uh, it didn't really affect that the head going on at all. It's so nice to have her in a better skin tone. You know what? Her hair color changed, but I love this doll so much that she is going to be my Aja, even though Aja is supposed to have blue hair. And wait, is she going to be a hologram? Can she be anybody? I think I was going to make her, what's, what's the African American hologram's name? I'm pretty sure I'm going to make her that instead. There's also the one that has burgundy hair. That's a possibility. Lana, thank you. Lana, Lana is, I'm going to have to buy a lot of Lanas because her skin tone is going to work with a lot of heads. So I'm going to have to just stock up on as many Lanas as possible because her body is the perfect tone for, like, pale girls. Yes, sniffing markers was a great childhood lesson. They're not that kind of marker. Shayna, that's right. So, yeah, you know what? I thought, I thought that... Let's really mess things up. Make this Shayna. Make this Aja. This girl doesn't get a role. Like, she doesn't get to be anybody. That's really sad. And then I thought I was really going to make it my own. And then I was going to say, you know what? She is going to be... See, she's a blonde. She is going to be Jem. And... Because Jem can be, like, a blonde or a light pink. And that, that could have worked. Because she's such a... But I guess I'm just going to have extra ones that will join the party. I think that she's going to be Jerrica. Even though Jerrica didn't have curly hair. But she's the most wholesome looking one. 
And because she's an actual Barbie head, here, hold on. This was another review that I wanted to do this weekend. I don't really want Jem to be Barbie. It's kind of sacrilegious, it's kind of wrong, but that head is kind of perfect, don't you? Isn't that kind of, like she even comes with the star earrings? So I kind of think that she has to be Jem. I have a love-hate relationship with these. I don't think the heads are very pretty. I think this looks like Jan Arden, though. That's cool. CanCon. And they're expensive. And I don't really like the outfits. So it's kind of weird, but it's just the idea of these and the fact that they look so 80s and they are so neon. Like, I mean, some of the accessories, I hate this outfit. The socks are cool. The socks probably won't work with the new real sized feet though. See, she could, she could be Shayna because she has blue hair even, but yeah, there's one, there's one body, there's one WWE body. I don't love her. Like, I don't think she's as pretty as some of the other girls. I love this one. So, it's probably going to be a loose interpretation. But this one, this is the only one that I really want to use her head. And luckily she has light skin, and there's lots of bodies that match her. And her, she's so skinny that I don't think I can use any of these clothes. But I don't know. I had to get them anyway just because of everything they represent. I think there's some good fashions in here. So I have to open up those. So expect, expect, a grand oh, expect a grand opening of that. And a big part of that is also the toys that made us. And that, that um, I guess she was the CEO of, of Barbie at the time. She was so funny, that lady who wanted to, you know, jump on the gem and get Barbie out before gem was even made, which was great. They stole the idea and then... And the fact that they can talk about that, that show is amazing with all these little cool tips and hints of what's happened in the toy industry. That AA, love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, I love, I, there's so many good dark complected girls that they're coming out with. That they're must haves. These, these two look incredible. So, I hope they keep them coming. And with these bodies, they look so incredible. Look at those feet. Can can I can I can you look at those feet? That's that's what a dolly feet should look like. I wish I could afford to buy that many dolls. No you don't. And don't make the mistake I did. Save your money. Buy a house. Don't be don't be don't be foolish. I am not, do not follow that example. Yes, that is a perfect head for Jam and the Holograms doll. Yeah. I don't, I, I, there's something about the generic Barbie face though. I want, like Barbie can be Barbie. I, I feel, the thing that I like about the fashionistas is that they're not Barbie and they don't look like Barbie. So it's really cool that they're not Barbie, but and that they're their own characters, so you can kind of name them anything you want to, which w is why Mattel left the names off. But this, you look at her, that's Barbie. 
So, mm, if you please leave a comment below if you think that Jem is allowed to be Barbie, because or and please leave your comments right here. But if you're watching this video after, there's no way that somebody's watching this whole complete video though. Hey, and if you're and if you haven't liked this video, I really appreciate that. That's gonna make me become one of the top toy tubers when you like my video. Maybe. No, it, it won't. <laughs> it is an amazing body sculpt. It is indeed. It looks so good. Buy a house or a castle. Oh, a castle. I've bought all kinds of castles. I'm just too big to live in them. The castles are all up there in this section of my room. You gotta go, Jason. Oh my goodness, it's 3.30, well, 3.30 in the morning. Go to bed. Bed. Bed, Ari Adna. Go to bed. I live... <laughs> I... Oh, oh, I can't... I can't scroll. Why can't I scroll? Oh, now I can scroll. Now I scroll too much. I live in one room apartment. Yeah, I kind of. I live in a house, but it's basically a one-room apartment. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> the first wave of WWE dolls are the clearance at Target. That's awesome. Oh, but they're on clearance at Toys R Us here, too. So we can get them for $9.99. Which is not as good as seven ninety eight, but in Canadian dollars, it's better. So I did pick up an extra set of them, but I'm now not going to buy them until I have a fashionista body, because I actually have fashionistas that don't match the skin tones. So whenever I get a... Because I have all of the heads now that I want, I have the the um albino girl she has the fro too and she is on the way hopefully lana's skin tone will match her but she's the last one that i want there's no others that i want because i like the really weird cool ones so i just get those ones so i'm just gonna get those and then i'm gonna have to buy a v WWD, the WWE superstars. I'm always going to buy every WWE superstar, one of each, though. I do have a deluxe set that I still have to review. It's over there. And there's a new five pack. I'm probably going to have to get that, too. But I always will review those. But then I'm just going to rip their heads off because they're not very pretty. <laughs> no offense. No offense, girls. It's not your fault. They look like a man. You should buy a fashionista with pink hair. Yeah, I want the curvy made to move one. If you ripped off your curvy made to move, Barbie, send me her head. I'm going to get so many of those heads in the mail now, it's going to be overwhelming. I only need one. I don't know what I'm going to do with more. My refrigerator door fell off last night. Just thought I'd share. That, it's time to get a new refrigerator. Or you should buy an old Barbie. What? You don't think this one? This is a good one. That's, right now, that's the best option. I don't have... I don't have my curvy ones over here. But the other one is... Oh, there is a pink-haired one, and she's wearing the daisy dress. But she is designated to the Mexican girl, the Mexican hologram. I forget what her name is. I always forget, Rhea. Her name's Rhea. Is that what her name is? They took away the target. I don't get a chance to see. Oh well. Um, Jam can be Barbie doll. It's got the right color pink hair and the right earrings, Vanessa buy her and send her uh, and send me the made to move Barbie. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe maybe I'll do that. 
Rhea. There we go. Bruh. The Bergen Bruh. It's a good name. And I like a Bergen. Most of my toys are Bergens. What do you do with the head dolls? With the head dolls. The heads of the dolls are in a bin with... The heads that I don't like are in a bin with the Barbies with all of the small feet. So, and I don't put the new heads on the other Barbies because I like the heads better than the feet and I wouldn't dare do that to the poor heads and give them really disproportionate feet. Because I don't think anyone, oh, except for a 1950s style Barbie, deserve feet like that. Looks really good for 1920s Art Deco, 1950s like classic little beach party. Looks great. We need we need normal sized feet for a modern sized modern sized feet for a modern sized woman. That's what I think. And Mattel thinks that so thinks that too because look what they did. Now. I have to admit, and I've said this in some of my other videos, that because of the shoes, that the feet end up looking a little big. And that has been why Barbie had her proportions in the first place. Why she had, had such small, because clothes are thicker. Again, this is a, a Toys That Made Us did go into detail about this. It makes their feet look really big because they have to be really thick. However, She-Ra boots were made of, and the She-Ra doll were made of a thin material and you could slip them on and they looked really, and they fit really well. So that is an option, stretchy fabric shoes. But yeah, putting real life thickness material on a tiny little doll, you have to put the proportions down, otherwise it's just going to look like a big thick mess. So that is why they made Barbie so teeny tiny, because they had to compensate for the thickness of material that can't be in real life proportions. It explains a lot. Um. Regine was the blue-haired fashion designer. Wait. Now you made me forget her name, her real name. Raja. Aja. Aja was the blue-haired fashion designer. Are the new wave of WWE dolls available at Toys R Us in Canada? Yes. Um, the single packs are not the deluxe with the double fashion. Those are not available yet. And some of them just went down in price. So you can get one for $10. One is $9.99. Two of them are $16.99. And one is $22.99. I think I paid the most for all of them. Except one was $10. So it's really awesome. I was going to buy lots of her for just the body. But like I said, I'm going to wait until I get fashionistas that I really like. And then I'm going to buy doubles if I need to, to match the skin tone as I go. They hasn't released WW in Sweden. That's a sad story. Sorry about that. The Samco warehouse is open again. No, it's not. It's just, um, it's just open online. So th their, their um, email that they sent made it sound like that but it is only open for you to order, but you can pick up your toys at the warehouse by going there physically. And I have been looking at the Star Trek. You can get all three Star Trek Barbies for $60. So that's $20 each. That's a pretty good deal for those Trekkies. <sighs> but they've had that for quite a while, but I'm still wondering if that is something I should do. Do I really need them? O'Hara's pretty good looking, and but Spock's got funny looking ears to live in a modern world. Maybe Spock could be Eric. Would Spock make a good Eric? 
I bought the WWE dolls on eBay. Oh, that's a horrible story, Vanessa. I hope they weren't too expensive. eBay is very expensive in Canada. You should customize those heads and bodies to create superheroines. Maybe I can do that with, with um, the the heads that I'm not using. That's a good idea. I could. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I might get. Maybe I might get all the. If the WWE dolls all go, at a better price, I probably would get them all again and just leave them as is because they're pretty cool. Even though their faces are a bit strong they look like a man but they're okay some of them are pretty but just in a different way which I should like because you know the world is filled with all kinds of different people haha uh, ha, Eric as Spock shouldn't he have an evil face doesn't Spock kind of have an evil face because of his eyebrows <clears throat> Okay, so we're approaching the two-minute mark. I'll probably do four more minutes with you. <clears throat> um, is there anything that you want me to do an overview of? Is there anything I could show you? If you haven't liked this video yet, I appreciate your likes. Thank you very much. Thank you for that like. Thank you for that like. Do you hear my voice is gone? I won't be able to do any more videos. I might have to just do this on my own. You know what? I'm going to come back and do this live because I need this done. There were some toys that I needed to open. I guess it's not going to happen this weekend. But that's going to happen next weekend. But I am set up here now. So at least I can just come here sit down i'll probably do lots of live videos next weekend hopefully yeah hopefully things will be quiet around here and i won't have any problem let's see if you guys want to see anything <clears throat> um no, no ebay only cost me 12 dollars my w doll and it came from the uk oh that's awesome Twelve dollars, twelve pounds is a great price. <clears throat> twelve inch GI Joe may make a good Eric. Some of those have angry faces. I wish I could find rep reproduction GI Joes. I love them. I want a classic, original, and I prefer reproduction because you know the the older ones kind of have wear and they're kind of deteriorated deteriorated but I would love to find I think the last repros were in the 90s so I always keep my eyes open and I really 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 want to get one I have some of the Hasbro ones that are kind of thicker and, and, and fatter but they're kind of um, stockier they're not as tall they're not 12 inches they're more like 11 but yeah I, I want a classic G.I. Joe so badly I didn't think I could get, I really should have bought those classic Kens, but again, I would probably prefer a reproduction, which is so weird. Like, for furniture, I don't like reproductions. I like original castle furniture. <laughs> but for toys, I do prefer the reproductions because they won't be as worn out and uh, brittle. He's kind of He's kind of brittle, but you can't get him in a reproduction, so I'm very happy with him. His arm isn't working. Maybe you have to... Hey. His arm was working before. Maybe you have to bend his arm or something. Which arm is it? What? I don't know. What do you have to do to turn his arm? Oh, it's his arm. It was working. Did I break it? Did I drop them? Hello, arm? You guys saw it work. It was working before. I don't know. He's hollower and thinner than I thought. I don't know if I had any of 
I don't think I had these. I just thought that they were the best, one of the best toys ever made, especially that plate-faced robot. You should drink water. I do have to go drink some water. You can hear that my voice is going away completely. The toy passion is so enjoyable. Thank you for being you. Thank you, Carrie Butler. That is the nicest thing anyone could say. Oh no, what happened to the arm? I don't know why the arm's not working, but it is two hours that we've been doing this. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those likes. You guys are incredible. I definitely have the best followers on this platform. All of you are so nice. Thank you for being you and be a good person. Always be a good person. Stay positive. Look for the good in everything. And I love you very much. You guys are so awesome. We will see you. We'll see you in the next video. And I might do another live tonight. So if you're up late, because no, instead of me having to edit it and everything, it would be easier for me just to do it. So I might very well just do another live video. So keep your eyes on the prize, guys. Love you.